Hi everybody, so in this video I just want to show you a little update I made to the red and blue device and also show you how to add um, custom effects, so from you, to the um, final output, so to the video final output of the device. Okay, so basically I added uh, a light for the grid, which means that uh, the grid will also uh, be affected by the light in the environment. So for example, if we make the light go very far with the light movement amp, you can see that also the grid gets affected by the light. All right, if I disable it, the grid will always be there and will not care about the light. So you will also see always see the grid, even if the mountains will uh, be uh, black because there is no light. All right, so this is a little, a little update. This was pretty works pretty well when you have the lower sky colors set to black because then it's kind of um, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a low light environment, and I find it uh, works uh, pretty nice with uh, with the grid being also affected by the light. Uh, so the next thing I want to show you is how to add an effect inside the device. So basically it's very simple, sorry the patch is a bit masked, but uh, basically here yeah, it's where you can add your own uh, video effects. So for example you can create a GGL slab and put it in between these, uh, these two objects. Or you can also use one of the BZ effects, you can just take one and use it for uh, affect the final uh, video output. Right, so yeah, that was the only thing I wanted to I wanted to tell you. So, if you have uh, some more questions about the device, just uh, just ask me. I will be happy to answer any question about the device. All right. So, see you in the next video. Ciao.